What is spiritual direction? Great question. I had no idea what spiritual direction was the very first time I saw a spiritual director myself. Quite frankly, I didn't know what to expect. Was this like therapy? Was this like counseling? What would this session be like? And I had so many fears wrapped around being able to open up honestly about my spirituality. See, at the time I was a pastor and I was going through a massive faith shift and I needed to know that this person was safe, this person could understand me, this person was trustworthy. And I wondered if they would judge me for my spiritual beliefs. I wondered if they would be able to hold space for the language that I was using. I wondered if they were going to be far too religious for me. I also had a lot of uncertainty, but ultimately, I knew that I was looking for someone that could be able to hold space for me to help listen and explore in this new path that I was on. Whether you find yourself in a specific religious tradition or maybe you consider yourself part of the spiritual but not religious group, we are all at our core meaning-making creatures. We are people that long to connect with something bigger than ourselves. And spiritual direction is simply this practice of being with others as they seek to deepen their relationship with God or the sacred or whatever you call that. And maybe you aren't even sure what you believe anymore. Or maybe you would like to deepen your own spiritual practice. Or maybe you simply need spiritual support during life's transitions or big choices. Spiritual direction is perfect for this. It provides a safe, non-judgmental space for you basically to be seen and heard, to be understood, and for you ultimately to tap into your own inner wisdom and spirituality. In a spiritual direction session, I will usually start with a centering practice that you're comfortable with. So like silent reflection or meditation or a form of prayer. And from there, we will typically discuss or process spiritual matters that you're exploring or that might be on your heart that you feel compelled to discuss. And I simply practice deep listening. I sit with you and hold space for your process, for your thoughts, your feelings, and guide you in exploring your own understanding and spiritual path. Spiritual direction isn't counseling, it isn't coaching, it's really a form of soul care, soul companionship. It's tending to your own inner life through listening, through curiosity and contemplation. As a spiritual director, if I'm honest, I don't direct anything rather than I simply make space for your own inner process and your own spiritual growth.